Hello, my name is David Webb and this is a video for DweeboVision. I'm a Scrabble Grandmaster and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game and be fun to watch. The game has just started so let's join the action. It's me to go first and I have a bingo. Dotages and Dojates. Nothing to choose between these. Well, I should at least maximise the score. I think I'll play it over here, because I'm only placing one vowel next to a premium square in the middle of the board. And if my opponent bingo's in column 14, he'll be opening up column 15 dotages. And this looks pretty good. To an R I would have Ratifier. I don't think I have a seven letter bingo. But there may be other eights with this rack. Certainly no R's available at the moment. I've got the I-E-R ending. But I should probably look at each of the floaters in turn to see if a bingo jumps into my mind so I can't see anything with the D. Oh, ratified, of course. Excellent. I have ratified from A8 down. Now hopefully my opponent won't block that. Great, ratified. So, do I have anything else? That was just the first letter in dosages. Can't see anything through the O. What about the T? No. Ah, with the S, though, I've got ratifies. Now, I don't think my opponent's going to block the D and the S. I'd be pretty unlucky if he did. So I think I am going to be bingoing, and that is a fabulous start of the, start to the game. Back to Mac bingos. So I'm waiting to see what my opponent does. Do I have anything through the A or the G? Well, I can't see anything through the G or the A, so I really am looking at ratified and ratifies. Great, ratified stays available. My opponent was struggling with both these, which is good. It means I will I will not be lumbered with either of them. Not a great tile, the V, for most of the game. Can be useful towards the end. Ratified, 89 points. Now my bingo run comes to an end. I have the Q, I don't have the U. So I'm looking at the short words Chi and Chin and Chi plays at D7 down. I've also got Chi's at uh, F14 down for 32 points. And that leaves a rack leave of CWENT -E which is quite good. So I'm not anxious to play off my N with my Q because it goes quite nicely with the existing consonants and also helps maintain a good vowel consonant balance. And in terms of a good balance, you're looking for slightly more consonants than vowels. Because vowel heavy rack leaves tend to lead to vowel heavy racks, which are less bingo-y than consonant heavy racks. So is there anything better than QIS? at F14. Now, what if my opponent made or made a play which provided a floating Q? Well, I do not have a bingo, but there may be words playable through it, such as queen. So I'll need to just uh, check on what my opponent plays before playing cheese. And if cheese is blocked, is G at D7 my best bet? 27 points. Well, cheese isn't blocked, but... Well, I note in passing that I could play G at F10 for 31. 
Well, that's the point. Do I play 31 here, keeping entice? And keeping the floating S. Bearing in mind that I've got the floating S of dotages, the floating R of ratified. Yeah, I think this is better than playing cheese. Even though it's one fewer point, I think the I assists this rack. Okay, reinfect at A8 across. I'm not sure if there's an anagram of that. And frenetic. Yes, well, frenetic is the anagram. Okay, well, reinfect is better. It reaches the triple word square at A15 and it places the F on the double letter square at A12. So that's going to be pretty good. Do I have an alternative bingo? So I'm looking in particular at the S of dotages. No. Now through an I, I would have in phi CT, but the I of ratified, both I's of ratified are not available. Which is a shame, in phi CT is a nice word. It's the top I is just obscured by the first V of Viva. Great, reinfect, not blocked. This is a fantastic start to the game. So, reinfect 101 points, that's massive. And I draw a blank, the first blank. So, can I really establish a monstrous lead by bingoing again? So, through an E, I would have immodest, and through an S. Oh, okay, that's a shame. Uh, my opponent has resigned, I wasn't, didn't know he could do that. The final score is 67 to my opponent, 293 to me, so winning margin of um, 226. Let's review the game. So dotages and dojates are the two possibilities, not much between them. My opponent played Viva. I had Ratified, and Ratifies was the only other playable bingo. My opponent plays Hock. I played Cheese at F10, which I think is better than... Sorry, I played Chi, and I think that's better than Cheese because of the rack leave. And I was then able to play a reinfect, which buried the game. My opponent resigned, and that was the end of that. So I think I'm going to crank up another game. Welcome back. New game. Me to go first. I have the X, and I have duplicates. Can't see any five-letter plays using the X. Nox resolves the duplicates and the rack leave is pretty good. Great, I draw the first blank. So I have peonies and sino pi with the blank as an E. I think it's likely that one of those will play. I have opinions down from the O of Ox. I'm expecting that to be blocked. So I'm almost certainly I'm going to be able to bingo. Now, have I got a double-double in column 11? Sinopi, no. Peonies, no. What else is available? Well, I note for a, for a start that I, ca I can bingo in row F with uh, peonies at F9 across. But that opens up column 15, so I'd like to find something better. Possibly something which overlaps hot more. 
that I think I ought to focus on column 11 because hot takes an E or an S. There could well be a double double here, so I need to run through the alphabet for the blank. No. Nope. No. No. Covered. No. Poising. Okay. Nope. Let's move this across now to keep it in alphabetical order. Possibly something there. Nope. Pinions. Okay, that doesn't work. Ah, but pinions does play in column F over the whole of hot, so that's worth considering. Move this across. So, anything with the R? Not that I can see. Iso spin. Ah, still doesn't make the double double. Nope, can't see anything with that. Okay, so I've got pinions in row F. Let's see what that looks like. I'm not too worried about the O front hook because that will open up column one. Actually, it won't. I'm one step away. But it's still not particularly dangerous. And it obstructs the double double, so I quite like that. 80 points. Out yank is not good. I do not have a seven letter bingo. I can't see an eight. I do have the O for the opinions uh, hook and I could play Yuko. Great, I get five points for the challenge. Yuko is playable at C3 down. That will get rid of all my problem tiles and leave a great rack leave of A, N, T. Nox doesn't take anything in front of it or after it. My Y can play at I7, making nigh, so that could be doubled and play both ways. I've got Toke at E3 down. I've got Yuko at E3 across, making up, key and on. Now that's going to be worth considering. That might actually score more than the column 3 placing. Great, my opponent has changed. So, what I'm thinking about is Yuko here. 31 points, and Yuko here, 39 points, well that's much better, and my excellent rack leave of ANT is rewarded with a dismal pickup, probably not quite bad enough to change, but that may depend on what I can play, this is a fairly blocked board. On my rack, I've got Vant and Vang. Neither is great words, but they may be better than changing. Okay. So, do I have anything here? Well, I have Van at C2 across. Let me see what that scores. Rack leave is, rack leave is horrible. But it's 30 points, that is a big score. It's certainly um, better than changing. It's half a bingo. Is there anything better than Van? I don't think so. This is a fairly blocked board and Van blocks it up even more. Which is good because I'm ahead and I've got a horrible rack leave. Which hasn't really improved. But my opponent may be struggling to play. This is a really blocked board. But that's excellent because I'm 124 points ahead. Okay, there was a place for my opponent to bingo and he's taken it, so that was good. A good spot by him, 71 points. He's still 53 points behind. 
But what am I going to do? I can play my Q at I10 across. But that's just playing the Q and the, it's only scoring 11 points. The Ratcliffe is awful, so I'd rather change than play that. But I suspect there's something better which retains the Q. Now I could play meted at L8 across. I don't like keeping the GQ combination, but this resolves the duplicate and the duplicate T and scores 22 points. The T is a good tile to keep with the Q because of the QAT play, and meted obstructs my opponent from using the S of Suarez. Yeah, I think that's okay. Well, I was going to say great, but that might be a slight overreaction. I've got uh, cat and chi as playable short Q words, so I ought to be able to get rid of the Q this go. I can play it around meted. I've got cat and chi at M7 across. I've got just chi at I10, but that's not good because it retains duplicate I, duplicate T, and only scores 11 points. So I'd like to do better than that. But if my, my opponent may well be drawn to the M of meted, um, coming down onto the triple word square at 08. Wow, he's doing well. 79 points, he's right back in it. He establishes a four point lead. So, so much for my wonderful lead. That has now gone. So has my cat and chi spot so what is available I can play chi at n2 across and there are three eyes left apart from the one I've got so out of 45 tiles there's a chance my opponent doesn't have an eye and if he doesn't have an eye I certainly do for playing in row O oh, next go. I don't think there are any other great spots for my queue. So that's 26 points. That's quite a kind pickup. I'm not sure it's given me a bingo. But it's fairly balanced, so I should have a range of choices. I can play pig at O1 oh, across. And also Pitta, P I T T A, and the rack leave of E G. Now my opponent may, even if he doesn't have an I, may play from O O three across a six letter word or a seven letter word. But he doesn't. He ob obstructs that. But he doesn't obstruct me playing pig. What else is there? Well, there's Tige. And the advantage of Tige is that it splits up the duplicate T, which I don't really like. It might score a little bit more as well. And APT is a pretty good rack leave. 35 points, that's a good score. Again, fairly balanced rack. I don't have a bingo, either a 7 or an 8, but I ought to be able to score well. I've got two scoring tiles in the F and the P. My preference would be to play the F because it's less bingo-y. And... I can play my F at O6 because F takes an F hook. So I could play FAP or FAD, which would score well and sort the rack out. The board is pretty blocked, so my opponent could well play in that area. He could play down through the M of metered which would deny me that F spot I've just been looking at. But he doesn't, he scores well. He's only two points behind, so this is a really close game. So what I'm thinking of is playing Fap here. I need to briefly check that my opponent hasn't opened up anything fabulous with his play of bloody. And I'm looking in row H, I've got the A to go in front of the B, but I don't have anything to go in front of the L, so I think FAP for 33 is fine. Dint 
is an okay rack leave. If I get duplicates, it could be a real problem. But with a nice pickup, then these are bingo tiles. Well, should I play fanned or faint? Fanned, leaving PIT. Yeah, I think I prefer that because then I've got the P for score. In which case, find is better, leaving Pat. Right, finally, same score, but a much better rack leave. App APT is much, much better than DINT. It's far less vulnerable to a bad draw. So, what do I have? I don't have a seven-letter bingo, and there are a really limited number of places for playing either a seven or an eight. Row K is a seven-letter bingo lane. And the R of Suarez is available as a floater, provided it is, it is in exactly fourth spot. I do have a 35-point lead at the moment, but my opponent's on turn, so that's going to disappear. Now I'm looking at row H. I've still got an A. Well, my opponent has provided two new floaters in the O and the U, and the R can now go anywhere. So I've got the AG ending so do I have anything with the O I've got the para prefix as well can't say anything with the O the U isn't particularly promising I've got the up prefix can't see anything through the R now I was looking in row H, I've got the A to go in front of the B, and I've got the E to go in front of the L. So do I have a four letter word ending A, E? No, I don't. So that's not particularly good. So I could play gay across here. Let's see what this scores. The rack leave apart is pretty good. 20 points. It takes out the bingo lane in row K. If my opponent bingoed there, then this would be a really tight board and he may be able to hang on. Only 20 points. Can I do better than that? If I could play gap somewhere, I'd be keeping AERT, which would be much more bingo-y. But can I do that? gap well I, I can I can do it in row K but I'm sacrificing score let's see how much score I'm sacrificing four points to have A E R T well I think the E is worth more than the P well it, it certainly is and there's synergy in this rack leave so I think I like this move. Great. I draw the second blank. What can I do with it? I probably have something through the R of odor. It's going to be tricky to spot because I'm looking at three pairs of duplicates. Duplicate A, duplicate E and duplicate R. But I, I feel there is something through the through that R. Hmm, that might be difficult to find. So any other bingo lanes worth considering? I can't see any seven letter bingo lanes. Now doesn't take anything in front of it. ST takes an E in front of it, but nothing goes in front of Knox. So row E is a six letter lane. So I have the O and the U of Oda, and they both go to make five vowel racks. So annoyingly, I'm in quite a tricky position. I'm going to mentally run through the alphabet for the blank to see if it can go with the R. 
So I'm probably looking at a word which ends ER, as A had, has obstructed me playing down from it. And supposing it ends TER and ATER. Okay, that's not working for me. I'm going to have to mentally run through the alphabet. I think B and nothing. I'm up to F. Well, I'd have rat a fee as a seven. Am I sure there are no seven letter bingo lanes on this board? Yes, I am. I'm now up to H and I haven't seen anything. I've only got eight minutes left, but there's only 19 tiles left, so I'm not really in time trouble. Leiteri is a seven. Ah, oh, do I have... Ah, oh, I was thinking of Anteater, but I don't quite have that. Okay, I'm up to V. So I have the water ending. That doesn't work. Okay, I can't see a bingo, but this is a really bingo -y rack, so what to do. I am 13 points ahead. The board is totally blocked. Maybe I should just keep it that way. I can't see an easy way to score well. This is a really difficult rack um, because I'm only 13 points ahead and I've got no scoring tiles. My opponent could score 30 points in row H. Well, why don't I just do this? Stops him scoring in row H, doesn't open up, up anything, scores 10 points. Maybe he will open the board up. And this rack leave goes pretty well with the R of Oda. So, do I have something onto that R? Not sure I do because I'm looking at duplicate R, duplicate T, but I do now have a scoring tile in the C and I do have a duplicate T so I can play off one of those. There could well be something onto that R, but I am not seeing it. Equally, there could be nothing. Ah, no. I was thinking about a Thatcher. I don't quite have that. So I have a 23 point lead on an extremely tight board. very few opportunities. Looking at the tiles that are left, there is the Z, which is a good scoring tile, but there are no S's left. Eleven vowels out of twenty-four, so slight vowel drought, not much. This would be a really good time to play a bingo onto that R, so it'll be annoying if I've missed one. So, what would it look like? Well, it would certainly end... Well, it may not end ER, it could end CAR. 
I would have had Atacop through the O of Oda. My opponent has got 12 minutes left, so he has a vast amount of time. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I've got Cat. Ah, Cat at J2 across is quite nice because there are no S's or blanks unseen. So that sets up column one for me, for me to use my blank as an S. And nine, it scores 19 points, so that's um, that's my preferred play at the moment. I keep coming back to column 15 because this would be such a fabulous moment to bingo. It really great. My opponent takes out that spot, but. Has he created a spot? What goes in front of Lema? B. Okay, I don't have a word ending in B, and nothing else goes in front. Possibly an F, but I don't really need to consider that. So I am going to play Cat. Lema only scored 8 points, which is great. So Cat for 19. So, do I have anything with an S? So Sweater doesn't play. Is there an anagram of sweater? Not sure there is. Okay. That's a shame because I can actually play an S in last place. Oh, good play by my opponent. He takes out that bingo lane and scores 20 points. He's only 13 points behind. So... What do I need to do? I've got the W for score. Where can I play it? That was a really good play by my opponent. I have just under six minutes left. There are eight tiles in the bag. Well, I could play war across here. Let's see what this scores. I just need to keep scoring, because I am ahead and there are no bingo lanes. 25 points, that's pretty good. I draw the J. And I can play Jar at E14 down. I've also got Joe at G G13. I've got a 38 point lead which at this stage of the game is pretty good on a board as blocked as this. I can see what's in the bag plus what's on my opponent's rack at the bottom of the screen. 11 tiles, 5 vowels, the Z is the big scoring tile but I can't see anywhere really good for the Z. I guess perhaps a play down column 14 is the best scoring spot for the Z. I could play Jeet at B14 down, but that would set up the Tsar at A15 down, so I'd probably prefer not to do that. My opponent has got nine and a half minutes left, so he's in no time trouble at all. I'm looking around to see if there's anywhere good for my J. 26 points if I play J A at E14 down, and what's good about that is that JA takes nothing in front of it, so JA completely closes down the top of the board. I could use my blank as a B and play jab, but then my opponent could play underneath my J with one of the two remaining A's, and I'll have burnt my blank fairly cheaply. Now there may be eight letter plays beginning at A15, ending lamer. I'm thinking of Inflamer, 
If I keep the blank, then I could draw an I and an N and be able to play that. My opponent can't play that. But there could be other eight letter plays ending lamer, but I can't see any. My opponent is not out of this game, but he is in a tricky spot and he is an underdog. Okay, he did have the Z, he only scores 26 points. And I can play underneath the Z with my J. It's one tile left. So what I can do is this. Jar and Zar for 29 points. Can I do anything better than that? I can't play Jag or Targe. Yeah, I think that is good because there are two A's left. If I don't play here, my opponent may. It's not a terrible rack leave. So I can now see what my opponent has got. He's got the W and the C. I don't think he's going out in one. I have got a 41-point lead. So even if my opponent has two plays and I only have one, I should win. It would be nice to go out in one now, but I, I, I can't see any places where I could play six tiles. Well, I suppose I could play through the U of UV. But that would require my blank to be an S. And I can't see such a play. So, what good plays are available with this rack? I haven't got Inflamer. Sag at M11 across. Sage, I could play there. Only 11 points, that's pretty poor. If my opponent could come up with a 20 or 30 point play now, I'd be in a lot of difficulty. I suppose he could play it from B14 down. Okay, 19 points. Okay, that's pretty good. He's now 22 points behind. So, what can I do? Iwi takes a K in front. I could use my blank as a K. I could play car. Only 16 points. That can't be worth doing. Gosh, this is tricky. Well, I can play at across here. Let's see what this scores. 23 points. I'm grateful for scoring more than 20 points. I'm left with blank EG. That looks promising. I can play GM at F1 down and I've got Sage at M11 across. So I, if my opponent doesn't go out, I can go out. My opponent's got a pretty promising rack. He may be able to go out, but this will give me I'm currently 22 points in the lead. I'll be 45 points in the lead. I'll lose six on count back. My opponent needs 39 to draw. He's not going to do that. And he may not be able to go out. In which case I ought to be looking around for my best out spot. So GM scores four points. Sage. Or Seagull would be better. 11 points. Can I do better than 11 with this rack?
well, not going out, but I could play. Actually, scratch that. That's not available. So Seago at the moment is my best spot. I could play nine points for Seg at J1 down. Sorry, ten points. My opponent has got five minutes left on his clock. Well, re retaining a letter, I could play Jism at F12 across. 19 points. But I think it's almost certainly going to be better to uh, go out if I can. Because then I'll be de denying my opponent the opportunity of going again. So, pretty tight game this one. I've got Giel at A14 down. Only 8 points. So at the moment, Sego at M11 is best. I'm still looking around for spots that I haven't considered. For example, column 2 through the V of Van, NOS does take an O after it, so if Givo was a word I could play there, but it isn't. And also row D, I could have a word beginning NOS. Or beginning NOSE, but... Um, I don't have such a word. Day 12 down, or going through Tsar. I might have a bingo. Sorry, I might have um, an outplay going through Tsar, but I can't see it. Ah, now I've got Q's at uh, G1 down, making scat. Only nine points. Okay, 13 points for my opponent. So I can play Seg down here. For 11 points. Yep, I think that's the best I can do. Wait for my opponent to formally end the game, which he does. And the final score is 375 to my opponent, 424 to me, a winning margin of 49 points. Let's see what I missed. And it was me to go first. I played Nox, and I think that's better than Pox because it stops retention of the duplicate tile. Peonies at F6 for 86 points, and I did Pinions for 80. Hmm. Okay, well, Peonies would have been better. UK for 39, that looks best. Tricky rack here, Van for 30 looks best. Good bingo for my opponent, brought him back into the game. Meated, yeah, looks best despite the poor rack leave. Broiler, great back-to-back -back bingos for my opponent. Chi at N2, yeah, that was my play. And Pitta at O1. Okay, I played Tige. I actually prefer Tige because uh, I'd rather retain the P than the G. Fand at O6. Well, this is where I played Find. I think there's probably little between them. The I and the A both go well with the P. Actually, Fand may have been better because there were so many A's in the bag. 
great no missed bingo here peak is being suggested at j2 which is quite good what did i do i played gap for 19 okay not much between those great no missed bingo here i thought there may have been I played AE for 10, and although the best move was 22 points, uh, my rack lead was hugely better. So I'm happy with that. Great, no miss bingos here. Crate was playable at B14. Well, yeah, I think I prefer Cat, because that opens up a bingo lane only I can use. My opponent blocked it. I didn't have a bingo here. I played war for 25 and that looks um pretty close to the best moves jar yeah that looks best 29 right at the end here a double t that looks best and finally uh keg for 11 and seg for 11 in the same spot that was my play so uh, a long video because we had two uh, bits of two games but uh, hopefully the extra length um, provided more moves to consider and there were interesting moves to consider. This second game was really quite tight and the first game was uh, a runaway um, victory for me. So um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video for Dweebo Vision.